the Shelby County Commission was filled with some courageous leaders who their threats of not giving us resources wouldn't stop, who their threats about withdrawing funding or stopping funding wouldn't stop. They didn't know that Justin J. Pearson was only standing with the moral courage of people who he come from, only standing with the moral courage that's built in Memphis, Tennessee, that's built in Shelby County, only standing with the moral courage of people who know what it means to be in a fight and know what it means to never quit, to never yield, to never bow, to never break, to never bend. That's who we are, and that's who we will forever be. We've got a problem in this state. We got a proliferation of gun violence because of policies and practices and legislation coming from the state legislature of Tennessee, reducing the the permitless carry, uh, removing the per the permit to carry weapons, reducing the age from 21 to 18, saying that to to fix school shootings, just arm teachers. We've got a problem in Nashville, and it's called a a, a promise that they're holding on to with this status quo. You see, their allegiance is to the way that things are. Their allegiance is to business as usual. Their allegiance is to the National Rifle Association. Their allegiance is to the Tennessee Firearms Association. But when we went to the well of the House, myself, Representative Johnson and Representative Jones, what, what we did was say we have an allegiance to a people. Yeah. People who are tired of business as usual. Yeah. People who are tired of same old, same old politics. Yeah. People who are tired of same old, same old politics. We, we've got people that we have an allegiance to who are willing to march for justice, yeah. who are willing to fight for justice, yeah. who are willing to vote for justice. And it is that spirit which I will head back to Nashville with. And what we have shown here in Shelby County, what we have shown here in Memphis, Tennessee, with my fiance, my brothers, my family, my parents, and my family here, is that we do not speak alone. Yeah. We speak together. Yeah. We fight together. Yeah. And so the message for all the people in Nashville who decided to expel us, you can't expel hope. Yeah. You can't expel justice. Yeah. You can't expel our voice. Yeah. And you show sure can't expel our fight. Yeah. We look forward to continuing to fight, yeah. continuing to advocate yeah. until justice rolls down like water. Yeah and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Yeah. Let's get back to work. All right, it's not, it's not final to our adjourn this meeting, so. Let me, let, me, let me knock it out. Let me knock it out. All right. Uh, I don't think we have any other statements that need to be made. Uh, we are now adjourned until Monday, April, April 17th, 2023 at 3 p.m. Again, if I have any comment cards, I'm happy to hear them after I bang this gavel. We are adjourned. <laughs>